welcome back to my channel and in today's video i'm going to give you a quick review about this foundation right here this foundation is the l'oreal 24 hour matte cover foundation and if you've been following me for quite some time you'll see that i've used this foundation like in every single video of mine uh it's one of my favorites so i'm just going to give you a quick review about this uh, bear in mind that my skin is very oily. I have a very oily skin tone and uh, like I tend to crease here and here. So yeah, I get a couple of creases but yeah, this foundation actually helps a lot with it. Uh, so yeah, I'm just going to apply some color corrector first and then I will go in with this foundation because that's how I normally apply any, any other foundation that I have. So yeah, let's go over the claims that what it says. Uh, so basically, it's a 24 hour matte cover foundation. It's supposed to give you a matte coverage. And um, all right, so it has SPF 16 PA++++. Okay, so that's great. Uh, we also, it also says that it's a long wear matte cover foundation, high coverage and natural results. So I mean, it says that it's high coverage, which it actually is. But then when it says natural result, I guess it means like, you know, a high coverage natural result. I mean, we'll, we'll see how it looks in the end. So yeah, by the way, I'm in the shade uh, Caramel Beige, that is 108. I believe this is the darkest shade that they have in India. Um, otherwise there are like, they have, they do have a lot of uh, other colors and shades in this but i don't know why it's not here but anyways caramel beige suits me pretty well so yeah mm, is there anything else that they say okay so mattifying and high coverage long wear foundation goes lightweight and supernatural i do believe it's lightweight you don't feel it on your skin at all um 24 hour matte finish shine control mm -hmm. High concentration of pigments in an ultra fluid texture for high coverage with second skin finish. Okay. Uh, non comedogenic shake well before use. Consumer test on 63 women in. Okay, so it's been. So they, they said shake well before use. And to be honest, I've never. Sh I don't shake and use it. So oops. But regardless, today we will shake and use it. Mm, okay yeah that's about it the packaging is very neat it does not have a pump it has a squeezy bottle it has a squeezy like, I don't know if you can see it mm -hmm. yeah so it has like this squeezy bottle which is also very nice a pump's also good and this is also nice so yeah easy to take out the product that's for sure okay so let's shake it and use it okay so now let's use it okay so for starters i'm just going to show you the consistency of this product in my hand to show you how smooth or liquidy it is it's like a nice thick like it's not that liquidy nor is it like you know it's a nice thick and look at that coverage that coverage is phenomenal so yeah it's like it's it's a very high coverage blends pretty easily with the fingers as you can see look at how smooth this side of my hand is compared to this I hope you all can see the difference. Look at how smooth this is and look at how this, like you can see all my veins and stuff and here like it's almost like non-existent. Like it's really smooth. Okay, now so I'm just gonna use some color corrector like you know on my face on all the places that I've got some discoloration and then I'm gonna go in with this foundation right here. Okay, so now for my foundation first, I'm just gonna apply it like on my face with my fingers and then I'm going to blend it off with a beauty blender.
All right. Now, as you can see that the coverage of this foundation is really, really nice. You can see like I used to like very little amount of product and like you can almost not see any of my scars, acne scars and nothing. Like it's pretty full coverage. Like let me zoom in. I've used very less. Be like you know, keep that in mind. I've used very less. You can see this a little. And but like like if you're far away, like if obviously no one's gonna come so close to my face and talk. No one's gonna do that. But if you're far away, like you're standing there, like I mean look at my skin. It looks pretty flawless to me. So yeah, I'm gonna show you all. Uh, like I'm gonna get my entire makeup done, and I'll be right back and I'll give you all my thoughts about like you know this foundation and what I like you know what I think about it basically. So yeah, I'll be right back. So now that my makeup is complete, you can see that my makeup looks pretty flawless. Like I mean, I had a lot of pigmentation and everything, but right now my makeup is looking stunning. Okay, so I love this. I have oily skin. I usually tend to crease like here, but I don't like, and it does crease after like a couple of hours. But I don't. I have not come across any foundation that helps with creasing. I mean, it's our natural lines. It's gonna happen sooner or later. So yeah, but if you can see like the coverage and like the smoothness on my face and like the entire finish, it's beautiful. This foundation is beautiful. I mean, if you're an oily skin girl, get your hands on this. Uh, before uh, before I used to try this foundation, there was a Maybelline Superstay foundation, and that's also great. But the thing is that the smile lines in that were more prominent than this one makes it. So this one, like, it's just light. It's very light, and you don't see it that much. In case it comes, you can just like kindly, like, you know, just slightly dab it with your finger, and you're good to go. So yeah, my take on this foundation is that it's one of my favorite. I love it. If you're an oily skin girl, go, like, go run and get this. The shade range, you might have a little bit of difficulty choosing the shades, but like if you're my skin tone, then caramel beige is your baby. Like it literally looks very nice on my skin, and it makes me look very flawless actually. And my skin is not flawless; it's quite flawed. So yeah, if you like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye bye. Thank you.